In this video, I will demonstrate how to interpret graphs. For lab 5, here are the events to identify in each graph. 1. Ball is held steady. 2. Ball is released and is falling. 3. Ball hits the floor and slows down as it compresses. 4. Ball decompresses and picks up speed upward. 5. Ball leaves the floor and is rising. 6. Ball reaches maximum height. 7. Ball falls again. Let's take a look at these steps in the velocity graph. This is the time interval for when the ball is held steady. The velocity is zero. This is the time interval when the ball is released and is falling. The velocity is increasing in the negative direction. This is the time interval when the ball hits the floor and slows as it compresses. The velocity slows down from large negative number to zero. This is the time interval when the ball decompresses and picks up speed upward. The velocity increases in the positive direction, but to a lesser magnitude than it had before the bounce. This is the time interval when the ball leaves the floor and is rising. The velocity is positive and decreasing. This is the time point when the ball reaches maximum height. The velocity is zero. This is the time interval when the ball starts to fall again. The velocity increases in the negative direction. For your analysis, make sure to be very specific. What are the exact time points for each occurrence or event? Also make sure to align the graphs with each other to make sure you don't accidentally misinterpret the events occurring in each graph. For example, this is the alignment of the ball falling in the position, velocity, and mechanical energy graphs. And this is the time interval for the ball rising after the bounce. Please remember to answer all questions that are required using specific results.